Hello everyone, my name is Aqua and welcome back to Lua Coding Series. Today in episode 2 we'll be going over basic math with variables and just regular math here in Lua. If you guys have not watched the first episode of this series, I highly recommend you guys go back, watch episode 1 so you learn how to print what a variable is, and now I'll be showing you guys how to basically do math with those variables and then how to print them out and all that cool stuff. So first thing we're going to make is a local a variable and a local b variable. We're going to define a as equal to 5 and b as equal to, um, actually I'm going to do 6 because I prefer even numbers where I kind of want to do and we'll do 2 for b. We're going to save that I guess and then we'll start with the print statement. So we can A, like print it out, A plus B, just like so. But you just put a plus sign in there. Then we just simply run it like so. It will print out eight. Another way of doing this. Instead, we can look, we can do a local sum is equal to A plus B. If you want to store in a, oops, store in a variable instead. Then you can print the sum just like so and then we can run this again and boom you can see you can just also print it like so in variable form now i guess next sort of thing we're gonna do um well let's just do local i guess minus i forgot what the technical term is and then you can just simply do a minus b same thing you can also print it out like i did before so we'll just do print minus. So far, this is pretty simple. Just basic, you know, math. You can see give us us four because you're taking a, which is six, minus in two. You can also replace this with two, and you can see it works. Or you can even replace this with four and get two, and you can even replace this with an eight, for example. And then what you will see it gives us a negative two. Now I'm gonna clear my terminal by typing the word clear. And then it makes it nice and clear and easier for us to read. Now we see we can do basic math with this. So I'm just gonna keep commenting these out by the way. Commenting out basically means the program will kind of ignore here. So you can basically write anything here in this, I guess, comment. I'm just gonna, I'll uncomment all this. It's just, just so it doesn't like print out multiple things and confuse you guys. This will all be uncommented out when I post it to GitHub. And by the way, the source code for all our videos, so basically everything I'm writing here on screen will be down below in the, in, um, in the description in case you guys need it. Now, next thing is some multiplication. So let's call it multi. And multiplication, instead of doing maybe an X like you would do maybe middle school i'm pretty sure maybe even high school we use the asterisk sign so we can then say six times 12. i don't know why i keep putting base class at autofills that's my bad i'm pretty sure that's one of my extensions which you guys should not have i don't believe it comes default but anyways local multiplication use the asterisk symbol so this will basically times six by two and it should give us 12. So we see when we run up, we get 12. Now, next thing we want to do is, that's multiplication. Of course, you guys can always replace these. Last most important thing is something division. Now, division is pretty simple as well. You're going to just simply use the backspace. That's why I wanted to use even numbers is so we get a nice, uh, what's it called? Number. Now, Oh, I forgot to print that, guys. That's my bad. Print dids. There we go. And then we get 3.0. And you might be wondering, why are we getting a 3.0 one for multiplication and everything else? There's not been a 0.0. Because Lua, basically, when it realizes you're doing something like division, power, model, mod, I'm pretty sure even does it. I'll get into all that later, so don't worry. It basically just checks, and it, like, knows, basically, because... Sometimes when you're dividing stuff, you usually get decimal points, I guess. So let's say you divide it instead of six, it would be a five, for example, right? We would know we get 2.5. It automatically puts it there, 
before checking if you would get a decimal just in case there is a decimal point so you know that's just kind of its fail safe i'm pretty sure that's why they did it um there is a way to disable it with code it's not hard to do i just can't remember it and that's more something i'll go into when i do like my advanced string tutorial and advanced printing i'll show you guys basically like cool mm, i don't know how to say this stuff with printing so it's like easy to read in console and all of that mm. sorry about that cut everyone something got stuck in my throat that was my bad but you know that's basically how you do division and that's why they have a decimal point and yeah so the next thing we're gonna do is something called power so let's first come with this out and now if you are not familiar what power is power is basically um times the number by itself over and over and over so by saying by a certain amount so for example we'll use a as our base number i think it's easier if i open up paints in case you're not familiar with power if you're kind of young or not too advanced math maybe you might not be familiar with it so we'll take our a which is six and power you would write a little number up here let's say four for example that means you would times six by six six times so i'm doing six times four would be six times six times six times six then you do left to right so we'd start here you know you get your 36 they continue on i'm not good with uh math off my brain should have pre-planned that that's a little bit my bad but you know you do 36 times six then that sum by that and then that would be your final answer so that's basically what power means so we can store local pow with a using the i think it's called caret key if i remember correctly times up i mean caret key four we'll call it caret key some pre shots the technical name not positive on that though then we can do print pow and that will print out a power which we can see is 100 100 wow 1296.0 same thing with uh, division. It does put a zero on there because sometimes, you know, you can get decimal points and stuff with power. I'm not really positive. I'm pretty sure that's the whole reason behind it. Now, the last main thing is something we're going to call is something called mod. Local mod is equal to. We'll do a mod. Um... Let's think, what would work with this? We're gonna do four. So you're gonna wanna put the percent sign. That stands for mod. If you're not familiar with what mod means, it's basically dividing six by four, but instead of giving you the answer, which would be about like 1.25 or something like that, it would give you the remainder. So instead of giving you like the, de you might be thinking, so it's gonna give me a decimal point. Decimal point. That's not what's gonna give you. It's gonna give you like what is left by that, so that would be two. So if you guys remember from maybe like, I don't know, fifth to sixth grade math, maybe you guys would do, I guess, long division. So we put six in here, divided by four, four goes into six one time, four minus six gives you two. And then you would write something like R2. Oh my God, that's terrible. Let me say R2. So you get like one, and then you would just give your teacher like 1.2 or some Thing like that now what mod does it kind of ignores this and then gives you this for your result not with the R but it would just give you this base number so we can then see it should give us two when you print it out just like so run out and then we see it gives us two and this one doesn't have a decimal point because it cannot ever happen with mod I'm pretty sure so, and then I guess last thing I guess I'm gonna do is basic increments. So basically what does that mean? It's kind of just like how you would do counting. So let's say you want like a local count. We'll call it, we'll make it equal to one, why not? And then basically how would you um, increase this count? You do count equal to count plus one. And then this would simply just, you know, print count what the that's my bad 
and then you know what for this we can seal print it out and then we can paste this a couple times so you can basically see it kind of counts itself so you can see it counts one two three four five so that's basically how you'd make something count up and go up basically incrementing it by one of course you can change this to whatever in some other programming language languages like java c plus plus i believe they will have a feature like counts equal to plus equal to one or something like this and uh here and sadly here on lua we do not have these luxuries because lua is based on original c so yeah that's basically kind of my intro to math i can do more advanced things with the math module built into lua like radius all that stuff that would be in a later video because right now it's not very how do i say this useful for you guys at the moment to i guess explore math modules this is basically all into the basic basic part of lua i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching if you found this helpful remember to leave a like any questions i have a support discord down below and all the source code for the videos will be there so i'll see you guys in the next video my name is anakwa have a great day